I'm Tim Bradner. Welcome to Capital Views. Here today with Representative Gary Knopp, new legislator from Soldatna. Soldatna, Kenai. Kenai Peninsula. Yes, and welcome. Thanks for joining us, Thank Gary. Thank you, uh, to be here. Gary, this is your first year down here. Thanks uh, for joining us. And tell us a bit about yourself and then maybe a bit about your district, your background. Uh, well, I'm an excavation contractor down there. Uh, I retired from the slope in uh, 2000. and. Uh, so I've been uh, working construction pretty much full time uh, since then on Kenai, Soldatna area, primarily stay close to home. Uh, I've been uh, in local government for the last 10 years after I left the slope, I got involved in local government. So served, uh, I was into my third term on the borough assembly and uh, then ran for this seat and was elected. And uh, so in that time, I've uh, also served on the board of equalization and the Alaska Municipal League board. So been involved in local government for the last 10 years or so. Yes, you're very familiar with municipal issues and local I, government problems. I am. I'm very familiar with them, I, and I think that's one of the things that I'm just thrilled to bring to Juno with me, is, is knowing what's going on locally. So, <clears throat> yeah, that perspective of, of municipal yeah, yeah, affairs. it's a great, great perspective to be connected and yeah. know the issues, know the people. And, and uh, you, uh, you worked and you worked on the slope, uh, Gary. Maybe a little. Who, who did you work for there, and what did you? Oh, I started out in the very early '80s as a contract. Uh, Millwright rotating equipment mechanic and mm -hmm. in the day I think it was Pioneer and AIM technologies and mm -hmm. and uh, eventually hired by Arco Alaska in uh, 1985 but that was they hired me out in Cook Inlet offshore. I uh, spent a couple years offshore then I transferred back up to Prudhoe I believe about 87 and uh, worked a variety of positions up there. Uh, worked the machine shop, worked in the valve shop, uh, I worked as a facility mechanic in most of the facilities up there. A rotating equipment mechanic, and uh, and then uh, served a few years in supervision up there, management for the Wells Group and uh, downhole Wells Group wireline work. So uh, retired in 2000 uh, when uh, BP British Petroleum purchased Arco, mm -hmm. and I was able to uh, retire in 2000. So uh, back to Kenai and. Uh, where I'd always uh, dabbled in some dirt work on my time off, and uh, so it gave me the opportunity to, to do it a little more full time uh, yeah. when I was back home. You know, just thinking about the North Slope with your background, you'd, you'd have a good perspective on this. Um, it's the 40th anniversary, the pipeline, and the start of oil. It Amazing is. that much time has gone by. But a lot, of, you know, we always wonder how how long can that thing last, and and how long can that equipment last? I mean, a lot of those wells and equipment have got to be. Getting, getting on in age, and, and uh, you wonder about uh, the cost of maintaining the maintenance costs. Well, not just the maintenance costs, but the integrity of everything. You know, I can remember Tim working at the central compressor plant, our gas injection facility up there, in the very early 80s when we were just, uh, when we reached the 1.2 billion standard cubic feet a day gas for injection. Uh, and I think at the time, my understanding was the plant was designed for about a billion cubic feet. And I was up there when we hit 1.2. Today, I think the plant's injecting about eight, eight billion standard That's cubic amazing. feet of gas, yeah. you know. Yeah. A lot of upgrades, a lot of modifications, some great engineering. Uh, you know, the, you talk about uh, taps being 40 years old today, you know, the, uh, the industry uh, spends an enormous amount of money on corrosion inspections, treatments, corrosion inhibitors. I mean, it's a, a very large portion of the cost of doing business up there. So it's an ongoing thing. It's not something that's done annually. It's done continuously. So, uh, so I, I, you know, I don't worry about the integrity of that. I know that they've been monitored time and time again, uh, and, and repaired as needed. So, yeah, I think I think it's great shape. It's, it's interesting you talk about that. Uh, Forty years ago, it was kind of a pipe dream. You know, and here we are with another <laughs> pipe dream today. Forty years later, I so. I, I remember in, in when the pipeline started, it, it, you know, that people thought, well, I'll all be gone by eighty, by ninety eight yeah. or so. We'll be yeah. turning off the light and shutting down the pipeline. And here we are. It's quite yeah. quite remarkable. And, and you know, it's been a, it's been uh, for the most part just uneventful. I mean, we built that pipeline; it's functioned well forty years, and yeah. and. Uh, and just remarkably uneventful. So. All the predictions at the beginning of how the thing was going to sink into the permafrost and, <laughs> and all the caribou were going to be blocked. Yep. None of that. None yep. of that has happened. Yeah. Well, Gary, tell tell me about your district. Uh, uh, well, I, I just be a little biased. Probably the best districts in the state. Uh, <laughs> you know, the Kenai Peninsula—you can't beat it. I mean, it's just—I mean, yeah. I've moved there. I've been there. 
Uh, I, I lived about six months in Anchorage when I first come to Alaska and I uh, got down there, I'm going to say spring of 80, 81, uh, and uh, been there ever since, my first 20 years in Sterling, and then my last 20 has been, uh, I said, I'm around the numbers here, but uh, been in the Kenai Soldaten area in the same place virtually within a half mile for the last 20 years. So, uh, you know, I just, I mean, there's a lot of great places of the state, but uh, I don't know, the peninsula is just something special about it, I guess. And so, uh, <laughs> Life is good. Yeah. Gary, what, um, are there any special interests uh, in the legislative that you have this year? Not so much legislation, perhaps, but just, just general areas. Uh, you know, I mean, I've had a, I've always had an interest in labor and commerce. My predecessor said on labor and commerce, so it was always a, a topic of interest for me. Uh, maybe because uh, as a contract, maybe there's areas of that that affected me personally, you know. Uh, obviously the budget was a big issue, you know, I was hoping to contribute to that discussion this year. Uh, I am working on some local land use issues uh, to mm -hmm. the Department of Natural Resources. Uh, we have some uh, parcels with some agricultural restrictions on that I'm working on with, with that department to see if we can do something with them. So, yeah. uh, just local issues. There. Well, your predecessor had a long and distinguished record. At, at he Kurt, did. This was Kurt Olson who retired last year in the legislature and, mm -hmm. and uh, Gary's taken his position. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Kurt served admirably for a lot of years, and uh, and w when you can serve that long, that admirably, that's a lot to be said for that. You know, <laughs> it's, uh, it was, can be a frustrating process. Yeah, and, labor kind of, and these kind of issues are the nuts and bolts of, of I mean, how how government relates to business yeah. and people making a living is yeah. really important. And, and I, I think that uh, I think we, I'll just you know blow on my own horn here. I, I think we bring a perspective to to the state level uh, uh, that we are in business, uh, local business, small business, very small business, but uh, having the local government, you know, and then I think the time I served on the Alaska Municipal League Board has helped enormously for me to see the challenges around the state as we're so diverse, you know, all yeah. of our communities. And so serving that time on the Alaska Municipal League Board, serving with the other local uh, people who've served uh, has been great experience, you know. and. Yeah. Uh, so to bring that and understand some of that, uh, I think, is, is a tremendous benefit. That's so. quite a contribution. Well, so. well, Gary, thanks for joining us. Oh, yeah. I'm glad to be here, Tim. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. This thank is Tim you. Bradner, and thank you for joining us on Capital Views. Mm -hmm.